Hello everyone and welcome to Monster Files and on today's episode we're going to be going over the well-disciplined Catholic school children of the Dungeons and Dragons community, the Drow. The torturous and sadomasochist Dick Cheney wet dreams, the Drow. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into these guys, shall we? Drow are a decent combat challenge, especially when met in large numbers as they usually are. Common drow traits are black or dark gray skin, white or gray hair, red eyes, dark vision, an average of 5 feet 6 inches in height, and about 150 pounds in weight, can live to a thousand years or more, and have a weakness to light. And before I move on, I just want to remind anyone who wants to be a drow for Halloween that you really have to put the extra effort into your costume and buy those pointy ears. Otherwise, you're just going to look like you're in blackface. Oh, mammy! Drow are a cruel and sadistic race that live in the underground caverns called the Underdark. Most enjoy luxury, beauty, and self-indulgence. They hate all other surface races, especially the elves. So yeah, I'm getting a really big society living inside of Guantanamo Bay feeling here, complete with naked elf pyramids and elderberry wine waterboarding. Most drow have an innate skill for stealth, making them master assassins. They are also skilled warriors and arcane spellcasters. And let's just face it, any one of these drow could walk right onto the set of an X-Men movie casting and get the role of Nightcrawler without ever even having to speak a word. Drow children are taught at a young age to be cruel, unforgiving, and torturous. They only value pride, advancement, and surpassing one's peers. Some, however, disagreeing with this lifestyle, escape and live on the surface. And I think it's pretty safe to say that the inspiration for the drow upbringing can be found in the Nazi youth. Drow, once elves, were banished deep underground due to their worship of dark gods and a demon-tainted bloodline. And the only thing that I think that can help elaborate further on this subject are those really racist movies that always take some suburbanite white girl down to the hood in order to go dancing with a bunch of minorities while her father kicks her out. I don't care what you say, Daddy! I'm gonna go get some corn rolls and do some break dancing. And I know it sounds a little bit racist, but there are some genuine parallels going on there. Although the Drow have a vast pantheon of gods, their most recognizable goddess is the Spider Queen Lolf. She is the chaotic evil goddess of vengeance, strength, torture, and of course, spiders. I'm getting a really strong dominatrix vibe from this Lolf. I can just see her now in her spiderweb fishnets and leather teddy. Waving around that crop whip of hers and her six-inch stilettos. Spank me, Loth! Spank me! Spank me! <sighs> or maybe I'm just projecting my own sick perverted fantasies here. The very best examples of drow that you're going to find are in the novels of R.S. Salvatore, featuring the good-aligned drow elf, Dritz do Erden. If you know anything about the character, one of Dritz's problems is, when he's alone in the Underdark for any length of time, he kind of goes insane. He becomes this sort of primal, fierce, savage, merciless predator. So like the Demon Lords, uh, he kind of loses control of himself. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me on this edition of Monster Files. Make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And with that being said, thank you all very much for watching yet again, and I will see you next time.